Hey, good morning. Welcome back. I've been tracking this line of showers, thunder showers all morning long, and you can see it's producing a large amount of heavy rain in spots that have already seen a large amount of heavy rain over the last day or so. We had some thunderstorms pass through last night, provide areas like Jasper County, Richland County, a large amount of rain, and you know the same locations are in the path of even more heavy rain if you're not already seeing it. Now, Knox County, again, you've had a lot of rain the last couple of weeks, even last night, and you had some heavier rain pass through your area. So if you have to do anything outside very early uh, this morning, any driving and spots you know or have been an issue the last couple of weeks, Watch those spots today. Give yourself some extra time going to work. You can see our storm tracker showing primarily the heavier rain is along I-70 uh, between Newton and Casey, even some uh, areas farther to the northeast in Clark County, maybe Marshall, some light sprinkles. But you can see where the heaviest of rain is. Jasper County, again, already has seen a large amount of rain, and you're seeing the widespread heavy rain, uh, some of the heaviest of rain that we're seeing in the Wabash Valley at this moment. And you can see the, the lightning trackers on. This is producing a large amount of thunder, lightning, and this is again trying to head to the southeast. So uh, south, southern Crawford County, you can see northern Lawrence County, all in the area. You're in the path of this as this is going to head in that direction. Vincennes, this might even take a swing through your area as well. So you might even see some more rain as this slowly makes its way across the Wabash Valley, providing a large amount of rain. So just be careful, especially if you're doing any driving through spots that are low that typically have a problem with a large amount of rain. Now, sunlight's not out of the question today, but we're never going to be able to completely get rid of the cloud cover. You can see our future cast predicting another round of rain rain tries to pass through here the closer we get to lunchtime. Now again, this is just a prediction. This could happen a little bit earlier, a little bit later, and it might be more scattered than this as it does pass through here. But what this is telling you is that we're not done with the rain yet. The system producing these rain showers it has taken its time leaving and it's providing a chance of rain uh, off and on throughout the day today and throughout the first part of the night tonight. The good news is we're going to start to dry up a little bit as we get closer and closer to the end of the day today. You can see this is around five. Future cast predicting mostly clear sky, sunny conditions. We might still see some clouds staying around a little bit longer, maybe some isolated showers. But over the course of the night, we're going to continue to clear up. So by tomorrow, we're going to see drier conditions. And that's the good news. The bad news is we're in the upper 80s. It's humid. It's not going to be that comfortable today. Tonight, lower 70s. We're not going to cool off that much tonight. And as the rain showers leave today, tomorrow, we're going to see mostly sunny skies, temperatures lower 90s, and humid conditions. And this is going to create a heat index situation that's just not that comfortable tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be closer to 100. This is what it's going to feel like outside, even though the thermometer reads temperatures closer to 90. So just be aware of that. Even though it is going to be sunny and dry, you may not want to be outside for too long. Uh, Thursday, Friday, we cool off. Showers, thunder showers arrive. And we're going to see the chance of rain try to dry up by the beginning.